Okay. This is Diet Mountain Dew. Zero points, only 10 calories. You guys, as soon as some people come on, hey, Mo, Mo, I am, it's always something, right? I'm good, though, for the most part. I'm good. I had to do an unexpected grocery haul because I went to the dentist yesterday, and I am getting all four of my wisdom teeth taken out on Monday. All four. So I had to get stuff to prepare for Monday. Basically like soft foods. Now I'm like, okay, go in the grocery store. I know what I got to get. Applesauce. Like fruit, stuff like that, right? I literally went and got just about everything but what I was supposed to get. I mean, I got most of the things I was supposed to get, but, and I'm on Weight Watchers, so I'm like trying to figure out like the points and stuff for that, which is a pain in the butt. And this is a recipe. Yep, all four. My boss gave me a recipe for these pumpkin muffins that I really like that she made. Didn't even get the stuff for that. But I'm going to show y'all because y'all know we do live grocery hauls now. <laughs> I'm going to show you what I got and you're going to be like, wow. So everything cost $150. Let me tell you how I broke it down. I used $20 in cash from my household fund. I did um, $100 out of my debit card from my emergency fund. Just $100, which is fine. And then the $30 I put on my credit card. So, first thing, I got me some cinnamon graham crackers that are low fat. I hear a lot of people on Weight Watchers, especially if you are on the blue plan, they take a graham cracker, they break it in half, and they put some fat-free Ready Whip, and then they put them in the freezer for a couple minutes for the Ready Whip to get somewhat frozen and have, like, ice cream sandwiches. That sounded really good, plus I like graham crackers anyway. But that sounded really good, and I was like, ooh, I will try that. And then, of course, as I'm in line, I'm like, Crystal, you ain't going to be chewing nothing hard for like a week or a few days. But when I'm ready, I'll be ready. So I got graham crackers. I got sugar-free yellow cake mix. Um, I got some cupcake liners. My best friend said she's going to come by to, you know, check on me and everything. And she's going to make me cupcakes. So, we'll see. So, I don't know how many points these are on Weight Watchers. I'll have to see. But, nonetheless, I got cake mix, sugar-free cake mix. And I got a uh, sugar-free chocolate fudge frosting. Yum, yum. I got me two unsweetened applesauce. These were a dollar each. Yes, cupcakes and ice cream. Right. A healthier version at that. So I got me some unsweetened applesauce. These are zero points on Weight Watchers. I got mandarin. Hey, I'm Calvin. Mandarin oranges. I figure I'll put these in the refrigerator and, um, you know, chew on them, numb on them or whatever as I can since I'm going to be in so much pain. 
So I got that. I figured that's soft. I got me some chicken broth. This is going to be for um, a recipe that I'm making for New Year's, a.k.a. I don't know why I'm making it sound like it's such a spectacular thing, but collard greens. So my holiday was a very lonely one. Um, I was literally here on the couch all day watching TV. I didn't cook. I ended up getting Chinese and enjoying myself somewhat. So I got me some tuna fish. I got albacore tuna. I don't know why I have a taste for tuna fish with eggs. And um, with these uh, good thin corn crackers that I got. So I got four tuna fish. These were um, $1.25 each. I got me some mild salsa to have with, um, I'm thinking about making chicken tacos. To have with chicken tacos or those corn chips and salsa. You should have rather stayed home. Asian problems. Oh, I'm sorry. I got me some vanilla extract to put in my um, pancake mix. I got Kodiak cake, Kodiak cake protein pancake mix. And I got the buttermilk kind. But I want to like put a couple dabs of vanilla in there for breakfast. And... Yeah, mine and me and my parents in the back home. Okay. Um, I got me some uh, aloe and citrus uh, dishwashing soap for my dishes. I was literally out, and this was $1.99. But I could have went to the dollar store and got like 10 for $10. But I did not feel like driving to the dollar store. I was just like, yo, I'm tired. <clears throat> I got me some pepper. I, oh, these smell so good. I have been on like an onion and pepper kick with everything, whether I'm sauteing it or I'm having it on tacos. So this was $4.99. I was like, I'd rather buy these little ones than to buy the, the three big ones for like $4.99. I feel like I'm getting more bang for my buck this way. So I got that. Oh, you like them too, Mo? Yes, girl. So, let me just say, eating healthy is starting to cost me, for real. Like, RJ, stop. I got me some greens for New Year's. Um, What I'm going to do, take my, um, my, take my chicken broth, crock, put these in the crock pot, add my chicken broth, add my ham, some of my ham that I had for Thanksgiving, Put that in there, add some seasonings, and have a grandy old time. Zero points on Weight Watchers. I got me some mushrooms. I don't know. Add them in eggs. Add them in spaghetti. Yeah. Whatever. Figure out sauteam or something. Do something with them. They were $2. I got me a chopped sesame Asian salad. Um, it does come with the uh, Asian sesame vinaigrette. I'm not going to use the vinaigrette. I'm mainly eating the salad and the um, wontons. I do have, I'm going to show you a new dressing that I bought. But I did buy the Bolthouse um, Cucumber Ranch and the Bolthouse Classic Ranch to have with this. I've been on a salad kick as well. Yeah. I feel like I, feel like I only bought the mushrooms. <laughs> Because they're healthy. I don't know. I just put them in something. Like yesterday for dinner, I made some, um, yeah, omelet too. Yesterday I made chicken thighs and I cut it up. Um, I sauteed it with olive oil spray and a little bit of oil. And I added some frozen broccoli, sauteed that. I got some fresh asparagus, cut it up, sauteed that. So all of that to stop all of that together. And I had made some pasta and I only had one cup of pasta, a lot of the broccoli and the asparagus and like a ounce of the chicken thigh. And I had added, um, I was trying to make my somewhat 
Alfredo sauce. But instead of that, I had Parmesan cheese. I didn't have any Alfredo sauce. I added Parmesan cheese, and I didn't really like it like that, so I had to add a little bit of soy sauce to it, and then it was good. <laughs> so that was dinner. Um, yeah, but I still have some left. I might just add soy sauce to it and just have it with, like, rice or something like that. But I'm noticing that I like chicken breast more than I like chicken thighs. If I eat chicken thighs, they have to be fried. I don't think I like them sautéed like I do chicken breast, if that makes sense. So I got me some turkey pepperoni. These are like 18 slices for one point on Weight Watchers Blue Plan. These were on sale, two for $7. I did get two. Um, but I like these with like string cheese. I got light string cheese, have these as a snack. I could even have some peppers or I was thinking about taking some, um, pasta sauce on like maybe a tortilla, put the pasta sauce on a tortilla, add some of these, add some of that cheese, put it in the oven, have like a fake pizza. I don't know, y'all. I'm trying to eat healthy, and I'm trying to, like, amp myself up so that it's fun fun for me. Um, I got ground beef. I have now moved on to the 93 lean. I used to buy 80 lean, but like I said, I'm trying to eat healthier. Eating healthier may cost a little more, so I got this. Um, 93 lean, 7% fat. Uh, for $6.09, I might use half of this. I might make like a little meatloaf or hamburger or some spaghetti. And since you say that, Mo, I got 97% lean, 3% fat, ground white turkey. I can also do burgers, spaghetti. Um, I was thinking about stuffed peppers with these little guys. I was thinking about doing that. Um, that'll definitely be like a low point situation. But I've never had ground white turkey. And this is the Butterball brand. And this was on sale for $3.74. So I'm trying to figure out what ground white turkey is. Um, no artificial ingredients. No added hormones. No added steroids. It looked like it could be. I'm not going to say it's organic. But I don't know. So, I was thinking about trying to do like a, not a turkey soup, maybe a turkey soup. You know how they have like, um, I could do turkey meatballs as well. You know how they have like um, Italian wedding soup? I could do that with the ground turkey. So, I don't know. I could play around with it. But... But I saw, I saw ground turkey breast too, 100%. I saw that too. That's why I was like, you know what? Well, let me try this and see if I like it. This was on sale for $3.79.74. The regular price was like five something. And then I found, no, it's not. It's just hot. This is hot, and I did not mean to pick this up. Oh, y'all. Y'all, hot Italian turkey sausage. But, nonetheless, this might be bombing some spaghetti, though. Maybe, like, a little bit. Oh, uh, yeah, with a dollar ninety-four cent. Maybe a little bit, maybe like a link and take it out the casing. Maybe it won't be as spicy or if I could add like sugar or something like that to cut the heat, it might be good like that. I don't know. I did not know it was hot because I would not have got it. You guys know I do not like spicy, but it still might be good. 
I'm not done, y'all. <laughs> Got the other turkey pepperoni. <clears throat> I got a sweet treat, cinnamon rolls. I don't know how many points these are. This is like, this was, when I seen this, I was on the line of, ooh, it's soft. It's not going to kill me to bite it from when I'm in recovery from getting my wisdom teeth out. That was the, that was the plan. And it was only $2 for cinnamon rolls. I got um, birthday cake, soft bake bars. I see Jay. Her name is Jay. Oh, it's, I do know it's Jay. I don't know. I think it's J-N or J-L or something like that. But she does um, dinner videos like or lunch videos, like what I'm having for lunch for work. And she had these Fiber One Bars, the birthday cake. And she said it was really good. And this was on sale for $2. So I was like, let me just try it. So we'll see. I don't know how many points they are. But then again, my mind was thinking, yup, JB. Yup. Yup, Mo. Yup. So, and you know what, Mo? I was trying to find those um, protein bars. That she always has when she'd be like, this is in a banana nut oat flavor. I could not figure out what brand it was to save my life. And I don't think I've seen it because I know I know what it looks like when I see it. But, yeah, so I got these. JB is her name. And then I got Kodiak Cakes. Um, these are like graham crackers. Um, these are protein, cook protein cracker cookies, whatever. This reminds me of honey bears, honey grams. Y'all remember honey grams and the different flavors of honey grams that they had back in the day? That's what this reminds me of. This was not cheap. This was $4.99. Um, and it is, you know, a protein based snack. So I figure if I have a couple of these with like juice or something, you know, maybe it'll hold me over and fill me up. But we'll see. If I don't like these, I'm going to be mad because I paid a couple dollars. I ain't done, guys. I got turkey wings. One, two, three, four, maybe five, maybe six turkey wings in here for $5.32. I like to cook these in the oven with um onion soup mix. And I cut up an onion and put over that as well. I add some water. I add some chicken broth. I cover it up in foil. I put it on 300 and I literally let it cook all day long. All day long, all day strong, like for real. And I love them. That's how I make mine. Some people like barbecue turkey wings. I'm not a fan of those. Some people like fried turkey wings. I'm not a fan of those, but yeah. Got those on sale. Mind you guys, I don't need meat. I have plenty of meat in the freezer, but when the deals come, like look at these baby back ribs. Remember the last time I got these? They were I got them for eight dollars. Well, look, I found some for five dollars and eighty nine cents. Baby back ribs. And the last time that I made ribs, let me tell y'all, I only ate three of them. Right, just three, just three. Mind you, it was 13 altogether. I ate three. Guess who ate 10? Mommy Dearest. She's like, oh, they were so good. I didn't even realize I ate 10 ribs. So, one of the things that I have been trying to find is the blackened strips by Tyson. I cannot find them. I've been to like three different stores. I can't find them. But I did find this Naturals Grilled Chicken Breast Nuggets. These are zero points. And these were not on sale. These are like $7.99. But on Weight Watchers, they are zero points. I hope they taste amazing and that they do not taste like Chick-fil-A's Grilled Nuggets. Because I don't like Chick-fil-A's Grilled Nuggets. But... 
some of these, some carrots or something, or some sauteed veggies. I'm into sauteed veggies now, y'all. And some um, boathouse ranch or something, ketchup, whatever. Have it with some of these. Yes. Then I got swai fillets. These are zero points on Weight Watchers as well. I can have as many pieces of fish as I want as long as it's like sautéed or baked. It's zero points. If I fry it, I got to count for the oil, the cornmeal, all that jazz. But these were $11.89. Like I said, these were not on sale. It's maybe like... How many pieces in here? It says two pounds. Maybe these are like, um, seven in here, eight in here. But these are like really long pieces. They're nice sizes. And it has 20 grams of protein for one filet. And that is what helps me lose weight. Having protein. Now, the next thing that I got was not on sale, but I love them just the same. I am really into my air fryer. RJ, what's your, what's your problem? I'm really into my air fryer lately. I've been doing everything in the air fryer. I've been doing french fries. I've been doing chicken nuggets. I've been doing um, pork chops. Y'all, let me tell y'all this pork chop recipe. You get your pork chop, you season it, let it marinate for however long you want to let it marinate. Take it out, get you an egg, beat the egg up, pour it over the raw pork chop, and get you some panko breadcrumbs or some shake and bake, which I forgot to buy. But get you some panko breadcrumbs or shake and bake. Y'all, put that in there, 400 for 10 minutes. Flip it, one, no, 20 minutes. 20 minutes, 10 minutes on one side for me for to get the golden brown color like it's a fried pork chop you guys you talk about crispy and amazing and it's no fat mm -hmm. so how i saute i use olive oil spray or just like a cap full of canola oil or vegetable oil whatever oil you're using you take your frozen vegetables or your um fresh vegetables and you put them in there and you let them sizzle. Season them up real good. Don't put a top on it. Because if you put a top on it, you're going to be steaming them at that point. Because it's going to create, um, you know, liquid. So definitely kind of like fry it, so to speak. Until they just get like crisp and tender. Bomb. Alright, so I got me some wing flings now. The only thing that I hate. Um, only thing I hate on Weight Watchers is that chicken wings. What? Wait a minute. Ready to cook from frozen. Okay, hold on. Marinated and glazed with up to 10% of water and kosher salt. Oh. Well, I will still season these bad boys anyway, but how many pounds is this? Okay, so this is three pounds, and these were on sale for $7.99. Now, my neighbor just told me that um, Food Lion has three pounds for $5.99. I missed the deal, but this still wasn't bad for $7.99. So what I'll do is separate these and have them like that. When I'm ready to fry some, I'll do it. When I'm ready to cook them in the air fryer, that's what I'll do. The only thing on Weight Watchers, chicken wings are completely high, which I don't understand because it's not a lot of meat and chicken wings. It's just not. So why are they high? It's like five points a wing or something like that. Like, come on. My mouth's starting to hurt. But I might have them for a cheat meal. But I'm on um, antibiotics and ibuprofen. 
for the pain till I get these suckers taken out. I'm not done, you guys. I ain't do bad for a 150, and I still got one, two, three, four bags. I got. I'm trying to find which chicken sausage I like. So this was on sale for $2.47. This is chicken sausage, hardwood smoked chicken sausage, kale, and feta. I guess ain't nobody like them. That's why they put them on sale. We gonna see. We gonna see. And then these were $3.29. Chicken um, sausage, chicken apple sausage. You guys know I'm, I'm trying to get into chicken apple sausage. I'm trying to figure out which one I like. I know Leilani from Leilani's Kitchen um, said that she likes, um, what, what brand did she say? She likes, um, Asiago brand or something like that. I seen it, but it wasn't on sale. So I was like, I'm not even going to attempt it. And somebody else said Andouille chicken sausage is good. Um, a, a, a Dillish chicken sausage that wasn't on sale either. So, here we go. We're going to see which one we like for real. I don't know. And I got um some Jimmy D. Oh, is this the one that I didn't like? I hope not. Anyway, I got some hickory smoked bacon on sale for $2.99. Jimmy Dean, I think these are like 1.4, two slices or a point of slice or something. Then I got me some chicken breast. This was $5.03 for three. All right. And I got me some um, rice cakes, caramel, because I'm trying to create the caramel popcorn. That's what I'm trying to do. I got me some pudding. Pudding, pudding. You want to know why I got a lot of pudding? I'm getting my wisdom teeth taken out on Monday, and it's not going to be fun. So they said have plenty of um, soft stuff. ADC! So I'm becoming a bolt house. Person. And I don't even know if I really like all of them, but I got honey mustard, honey mustard, yogurt dressing, bolt house. This was not on sale. This was like $3.99, but I figure it's only 40 calories. I figure you get what you pay for. Everybody's saying that this is bomb. I can have this with my chicken salad, whatever. And I got me some sugar free brownie mix, you guys. And again, I'm just in the mind of I need soft foods. I need something that's going to fill me up. All right, two more bags. Then we done. I got me some Weight Watchers. Uh, salted Caramel Popsicle Ice Cream Jones. We going to see. I figure if I'm in pain or I'm, I need something... To help with my gums or whatever. I will just. Suck on this. And hopefully it's good. I got me some lime juice to go with my tacos. That I want to make. I got me some soup. I, I got a Italian style meatball. Hopefully that is good. It's like. um One point for. Two cups. And the same with the chicken and dumplings, light soup. I got my other tuna fish. I ended up getting four, four cans of tuna fish for $1.25 each. All right, last bag, y'all. Work with me. I got me some cherry jello, the other applesauce. I got some edamame. To try. I'm going to saute this with some salt and have a grand old time. These are zero points. I might have this for lunch actually with some shrimp. I took some shrimp out to cook. Um, 
today because I wanted to really have shrimp alfredo, but I could not find light alfredo sauce at the store I was at. So yeah, so I might just have this with um shrimp and that'll be like a zero point lunch. I got me some more asparagus. This was $2.50, y'all. But it's so good if you saute it with some olive oil spray, some salt, pepper, and a little bit of adobo seasoning. Y'all. Got me some carrots to have with that classic ranch dressing or the honey mustard dressing. We gonna see. And these are like four different packs. So, I don't eat carrots like that though, but I'm trying. Or if I want to make vegetable soup, I can add those carrots. And then I got me some string beans that I was going to saute up to. Or make with a uh, sweet potato or something. I do have like four sweet potatoes in my refrigerator that I need to use up. So, I might, that's probably what I will do. I might bake me some sweet potatoes to have during recovery as well since that's soft. So I might have some sweet potatoes. But yeah, that is everything, you guys. $150. Mo, how did I do? Everything. And this is a more healthier haul, I guess. I forgot to get water and I forgot to get um aluminum foil. But it's okay. Ain't it R? It's okay, ain't it? RJ, it's okay, right? So DC, what you get me for Christmas? I ain't get my gift yet. I need foil. Haven't bought any in my really. And you know what? I don't mind cooking without it. To be honest, I don't mind having my stuff in the oven. Like because if it's true, if it's something where I feel like it'll get dry, I can just keep basing it. But my thing is, I might not have enough containers with tops in order to put the stuff away. You know. So, but yeah, that is my grocery haul, $150. I do not have to buy anything next week, probably because I was hardly cooking. I have too many, girl, and then you be using like the stuff that you bought, like the butter container, you be using that as something, or the pickle jars. <laughs> Oh my god. Funny fact, and I'm sorry if this is TMI, but <laughs> when I took when I had took her pregnancy test to see if I was pregnant, I was like, well, what am I gonna use? What am I gonna go in? I didn't wanna like I wanted to you know dip it in some. I was like, well, I'm not using none of my cute mugs or whatever, even though I could still wash it up, but still, then I was like, oh, I got a pickle jar in the cabinet. <laughs> Oh my gosh. <laughs> and my mom was like, well, that's what my mom used to take a pregnancy test for me to see if I was pregnant. She used a pickle jar. I said, that is too funny. But yeah, um, one of the things that I am excited about eating is these. And these, I'm eating cheese and grapes right now. I just got done grocery shopping. Yes, Lainey. I just got done grocery shopping too. Um, breakfast, I had a premier protein shake, the peaches and cream kind. That was it. And I am starting to... get hungry a little bit but I don't want 
it's uh 12 o'clock i don't want lunch right now i might have some pepperoni and a cheese my lunch is going to be sauteed shrimp with edamame with some salt but um dinner i'm having my pork chop and some applesauce and a vegetable excuse me i got a burp and it's like not coming but um come on for lunch come on so i noticed what i'm doing is i'm not eating carbs every day i'm eating carbs like every two days every other day every two days that's what i'm gonna do and we're gonna see how much weight i lose doing that but um uh, my favorite cheese i like provolone cheese and i like mozzarella that's my favorite cheese. Um, but I'm I'm not a I'm not the kind of person that be like, oh, I just want cheese to eat cheese every day. I really only like it in like certain recipes, like tacos, or if I make lasagna, like I'll buy like five bags, five different bags of cheeses. Like I'll do mild cheddar, sharp cheddar, mozzarella another sharp cheddar and then I'll even like put a Mexican blend in there and just like mix it all up Swiss is good Swiss is good on like sandwiches or patty melts or like a burger or something like that yeah Swiss is really good um yeah I don't know y'all just shooting the breeze I said I haven't been on in a couple days so let me just show y'all i am okay i am not excited to get my wisdom teeth out on monday i'm not it seems like i i swear like no i don't have any swiss cheese i swear um literally like i feel like every part of my body has been worked on I had the eye surgery last year, right? Has it been a year yet? I had the eye surgery. I got fibroids removed. What else happened? <laughs> it's like always something. Now my wisdom teeth are coming out. Oh, jeez. <sighs> but <laughs> I'm just becoming a brand new me i am um i'll tell you guys i did delete my facebook remember i said i was having a conversation where i was going to delete my facebook my facebook is deactivated it's not deleted it is deactivated but haven't been on um any resolutions ah uh, to save five thousand dollars um join a gym i am going to go to a gym um just because i have an exercise bike here that i'm actually about to get rid of because i don't use it i don't have the motivation to exercise at home and you know i feel like maybe if i go to the gym and actually be super excited about it like i'll be good you know um So, yeah, I'll go to the gym and I don't know the times to go, though. I'm off on Friday and Saturday, so I'll definitely go on my off days. I do want to start going three days a week, um, but I want to go and this might sound so crazy, but I want to go when no one's there. Like I want to do my own thing by myself. Because I feel like when it's a lot of people there at the gym, I just feel like people are looking at me which might sound crazy even though they're not i just feel like i don't know i'm being watched so i want to go when no one when no one's there um i i last year when i had was on weight watchers and i had lost like a lot of weight i was walking a lot but now it doesn't seem so safe to walk like a lot of people like in delaware we're dealing with like women and children being kidnapped with the like 
human trafficking, sex trafficking ordeal. Um, I mean, it's on a rise everywhere, but like, you know, I'm four foot 11. All they could do is just pick my little behind up and just, you know, take me. But they wouldn't be going down without a fight. My DNA going to be all over their body for real. Like, but anyway, that's either here nor there. <laughs> Nonetheless, I am going to join a gym. Um, my job has a gym down the street from... Um, see, ain't nobody got time for that. My gym, there is a gym down the street from my job that's $5 a month, but I don't know if I want to go there. And I know that might sound crazy, but there is a gym somewhat close that's $20 a month for membership. I might do that instead. And I don't want to do Planet Fitness because everybody's at Planet Fitness. Planet Fitness is always packed. I need something that's chill, not a bunch of people, you know. That's what I need. But, um, so yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, I do want to date, date more. But I don't know where to meet guys. I know that might sound so crazy. But I'm just so cautious with like everything that is going on. You know, like I feel like do I want to go out on a date with somebody because I like him? Or like am I scared he going to like try something? And I know I shouldn't have that fear, but I don't know. I don't know, but I do want to date more. Um, I don't know. A couple people that I know met their guys on Tinder. And I'm like, uh, I ain't looking for no um, firm with benefits. I'm too grown for that. Sorry. Nope. I can't. I'm grown. I catch feelings if it's good, good. I ain't got time. Oh, that's just my friend. No. Mm-mm. I'm grown. Make an honest woman out of me if you want this cookie all the time. And I ain't saying like marriage right away, but like a serious commitment. Let me tell you, I was talking to this guy yesterday, right? On this little chat line, right? Talking to this dude. Dude talking like he got good sense and everything. So I'm like, okay, you want video chat? He's like, yeah, let's video chat, y'all. Mind you, he sent me, we sent each other pictures. The picture he sent me, he looked good as heck, right? I was very attracted to him. Y'all, when that video chat came on. <laughs> homeboy had gray. Mind you, you know how sometimes when men take a selfie or they take a picture and they don't show their teeth, their teeth, I'm skeptical about that. It's like, are you missing some, you know, are they gone? Like, why aren't you confident to show your teeth? Well, y'all, I found out why he was not confident to show his teeth in this picture. Y'all, don't get me wrong. I have all my teeth. My wisdom is about to come out, though. But, like, down here was, like, chopped off, y'all. Like, this part was, like, chopped off. It was, like, three of them. And I'm like, what the heck? What the heck? And the guy is 47. Still handsome face or whatever. But that mouth, though. So, I'm like, okay, Crystal, don't be shallow. You know, just talk to the guy. So, we talking and busting it up, talking and busting it up, talking and busting it up. I'm talking to him for like an hour. He said, he's saying like, oh, you're so beautiful, blah, blah, blah. You know, eh. y'all. Okay, we're like, we're not like this, but like, I'm in my room talking to him. He's wherever he is talking. Y'all, all of a sudden, y'all see my white wall and how it's white. 
all of a sudden I see this black thing crawling like down his wall on his couch y'all to myself how you 47 with roaches bruh like what and he got a grown kid don't get I mean y'all look I said wow hold on probably Y'all, <laughs> y'all, that was the worst turn off, you guys. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Mm -mm. Call me bougie, call me stuck up, whatever you calling me right now, whatever. But I was like, nope. And then he told me he was a manager for a pizza shop. And that he was a certified chef. And I'm like, really? I'm like, Oh, that's, you know, you put on the fake smile. Oh, that's nice. Okay. <laughs> Y'all. <laughs> Y'all, I was just like, wait a minute. Don't get me wrong, you guys. When you live in a hood, and I'm assuming he lives in the hood, because you ain't living in the suburbs with a roach coming down. And his he went in his kitchen because he said he was hungry. He went in his kitchen. And he like put the phone down. You know how you can see the ceiling. Y'all, it's like brown spots in the ceiling. And ev like wherever he is, work needs to be done. But I'm just like... If he live in a hood and he live in a row home and you not clean, you got roaches. That's just what it is. Like, if you are clean, you getting roaches from those that are not clean if you live in a row home because everything connects. You know what I mean? I was like, oh, gosh. Guy had an amazing conversation. Amazing conversation, but... That mouth and that and that roach, <laughs> I was just like, nope. And he's like, oh, and he like so confident, like, oh, you know, I could see you being my lady. And I'm just like, yo, this dude is like for real shooting his shot, like legit. And I like. You know, you know, you can tell when somebody feeling you or whatever. You know what I mean? Like, I know he feeling me. Like, he grinning and gazing and like, oh, you're so beautiful. You got nice lips, blah, blah, blah. You know, like, I know he feeling me. I ain't complimenting nothing <laughs> to this dude. Like, I was just like, man, but I did not want to be rude because we was having a good conversation. But, man... I ain't telling him nothing. He need to know he need an exterminator. Like, bruh. And he need to go to the dentist with me on Monday, too. Get some partials or something. Let me stop, y'all. Let me stop. Like, that man might be okay with how he look. Let me stop. Lord, forgive me because that's not nice. Because something can happen to where my teeth are jacked but I will have insurance to get it fixed like I'm not going to be out here in these streets no and then he had like gray hair 
don't get me wrong, you're 47. Most men that are 47 have gray, but like the picture he sent, it was all black, black hair, jet black hair. Like I'm sure it was dyed or whatever, but I don't know. Like he's like, oh, I didn't get a chance to go to the uh barber shop. First impressions are everything. And I'm just like, dude, you ain't even gotta worry about it because you ain't gonna see me no more. But yeah, he was just like, homeboy was like <laughs> overly confident because I was not like legit shooting him down. You know what I mean? Like, I was like, I'm not going to be like rude or anything like that. And it, I'm sure he's going to ask like, you know, why I'm not go to the crowd. <laughs> My day in the crowd in gym. Girl, he might be looking like a snack or a pudding. <laughs> but y'all, that was just like, I was just like, ugh, man. But yeah, that was that. Um, So, I am going to go. I'm going to put this food up because I got some ice cream that needs to be in the freezer. And I need to make room in my freezer for this food. I don't know. So, yeah. I will um, talk to you guys later. I hope you have a great day. Um, if you want me to come on looking like a chipmunk, I will. In between sleep. <laughs> and I would just talk to you guys soon. Be blessed. Have a great day. Come on later. Okay, I might. I'll come on later. I can do that. Because I'm not doing anything. I'm in the house all day. You know, no life here. So, but yeah, I'll do that. I'll come on later. All right, Mo. That's the plan. So, I'm going to go. Um, I'm going to eat something. I'm going to eat a snack and then cook lunch. I might come back for lunch. Let me see. Microwave, no stove top, pour into a saucepan with water, bring to a boil over high heat. Oh, I guess I can't saute these. I am anyway, though. All right, y'all. Peace. See you later. Bye.